Or you may recognize me as the lunchtime and Emmy award-winning host of Queen of Hearts on the CW. <laughs> or you may recognize me from the, from my son Benji's disastrous bar for cruise. <laughs> anyway, I am very famous <laughs> and, and wealthy and well-known. And so I've decided it's time to give back to the community, go back to my roots where I started. So I've endeavoured to do some pro bono work this evening. I'm going to have one lucky volunteer or a couple or, you know, whatever other thing uh, come on up and ask me, free of charge, for uh, romantic advice. I know you're all struggling out there. I can see it on your face. <laughs> and it's tough. I mean, I haven't experienced that in a perfect marriage. But I would like to help save someone's love life today. Do I have any volunteers? Oh, gosh, please, not everybody all at once. I know it's scary. It's scary to think that your life's going to be turned upside down for the better. There she is! Come on up! Come on, sit down, sit down. I'm glad it was only one because we only have two chairs. Um, I don't even need that. I have a very big point. Um, so, what's your name, sweetheart? Claire. Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> but you can call me Sandra Lesson Bell. I want to start off with your earliest romantic memory. Seventh grade. Say no more. <laughs> No, please say a little bit more. <laughs> um, I'm from St. Louis, and there's a place called the City Museum. I know like it. a huge jungle gym kind of place. Oh. And this boy that was my boyfriend mm -hmm. kept trying to, I was just trying to avoid finding myself in any of the tunnels with yeah. him because I was afraid that he was going to try to kiss me. Oh. So not so romantic. But I have romantic. a question. When you say boyfriend in quotes, does that mean he was already married? <laughs> no, not. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> So you were afraid he was going to kiss you? Yeah. Because you were afraid of intimacy. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's still, that's still creeping his ugly little head. Yeah. Um, so ultimately, obviously, it didn't work out with him because you didn't start it off right. Um, let's see. When would you say you first felt a reciprocal love relationship? Um, high school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What was the what was oh, the no, first no. Oh, oh. Summer camp. Summer camp. Summer camp at the age of three? <laughs> um, age of I don't know. Twelve? All right. Twelve. So the hormones are just beginning to peak out. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say is your biggest this is very educational for everyone, so I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> what would you say is your biggest romantic challenge now? Huh. Take your time. Do you want options? I'm in a relationship now. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to switch legs. <laughs> okay, so you're in a relationship now. What's the person's name? Sam. Sam? Yeah. Okay. Gender? Male. Male? Okay. Um, how long have you been together? Four years. Four years? My husband and I have been together 31 years. <laughs> you uh, <did. laughs> I know. Um, and and you you would say um, it's good. It's bad. Great. Oh, it's okay. Good. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's like everything. You've never had a problem. Um, mm -hmm. we did have long distance relationship for a year. That's hard. Yeah. Did you have phones? Uh, we did. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Did you do the face Skype? We did oh face god. Skype. Now, what was sex like over that? <laughs> Pretty inexistent. Yeah. Oh. We don't, we didn't do much of the face sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's a new world, a new term. Uh, my husband uh, lives for eight to nine months of the year in South Korea. Um, he's, a, he's a parking lot architect there. And so we've had long distance a lot, but I've really cracked it. Oh, 
Oh. Are you ready? Because you may enter into it again. I have, I a, I have a thick yeah, sense right. about these sort of things. He will be going somewhere else. Um, <laughs> somewhere very far away. Uh, but you can keep it up. The, old, the, the solution is, are you left or right handed? I'm right handed. It's a He's left handed though. Are you well, a union? That's a recipe for disaster. But anyway. <laughs> Do you cook? Yeah. Does he cook? Yeah. Better than you? He thinks so. <laughs> okay, well that might brim up into something. Um, you both cook the same thing. I recommend a carnitas. Mm, I, yeah. Both cook a carnitas. <laughs> Sit down before you face Skype mm. <laughs> and watch each other eat it. Don't touch a bite. You choose. You switch on. Okay. Don't. You watch him put each bite into his mouth until he's finished the whole thing. Okay. Then you say, thank you. Are you full? Oh. His response will, of course, you know, tell you a lot. If he says no, then you have to investigate further. But, he wants to be kosher, though, in the future. So oh. Carnitas might be a code for all the time. Well, you better buy my book, then. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Sandra, so, any last questions? Yes. Um, no. <laughs> advice. Advice. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't need any more questions. I'm going to give you one thing to work on. Just sort of my initial assessment. It takes 10 seconds for me to figure out what's wrong with someone's love life. Oh. And I don't even have to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> you need to cut all your hair off. <laughs> because that's getting in the way. <laughs> if you connect it with him. Right. Yep, thank you. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'll give you my email after the show so you can ask me more questions. That goes for everybody. Thank you very much. Tune in to Queen of Hearts every Thursday at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs>